Hey everybody, it's Owen, and today I've got Airblock. This is a modular programmable drone, which means it could be a drone, it could be a hovercraft, it can be something else that you can create. So, this is a fun thing, and I thought I might show it to you guys. It's kind of like a Lego drone, except it's not made of Lego pieces in, but you can build different stuff. I'll be opening it, showing it to you, and flying it. So guys, this is my second drone video. I have another one that I did about two years ago, and it's pretty popular. You guys should go check it out. But it was like when I was eight, so I'm more, ah! But I'm more cursy because I did bleep out a word. So this is a funny little video. You guys should check it out. All right, without further ado, the drone. Here's everything that we're gonna need. We've got our hovercraft, decals under it. Then we have the protective covers, battery charger, batteries, charging cord, and then I've got the actual air block over here. So I'm gonna assemble the drone real quick. It looks like it has magnetic pieces, so it just clips on there. This is what the connector module looks like. Let me just clip it on there. You notice that it's red, black, red, black, red, and then there's another black in here I didn't put on. All right, there's that. The battery goes into the battery charger. There's like a golden piece right there. You have to clip it so they align. I'm not gonna put it all the way in there because it's a pain in the neck to get out. It's like, it's a tight fit. And these are already charged, so I don't need to. All right, and then it's basically the same thing for the master control module. I'm actually gonna put it in there. Once you do this, there will be a blinking light on top. Looks white, like this. When you use the drone, you don't use the protecting covers, but when you use the hovercraft, you do. So I'm gonna show you how it would fit onto the hovercraft. You gotta take the master control module, put it right here, and then you take two of the rotors and put only the top part on it, not the bottom part. Here's what the top piece looks like. Just gotta press it down a little bit. Then you take the remaining rotors and then put top and bottom protective covers. Here's what a bottom protective cover looks like. They line up this way with the pegs inside. And on the hovercraft as well, on any of these, you have to put it red, black, red, black, red, black, otherwise it's not gonna work. The color just symbolizes which way the rotor spins. There. So this is what the hovercraft looks like completed. So I'm gonna convert this back into the hovercraft, and then I'm gonna put some of the decals on it. I'm gonna take this battery out, just for the sake of battery life. This isn't as easy as putting stickers on a Lego set because it's styrofoam. I'm not too confident these things will stay on because they're just popping off left and right. Here's what it looks like on the side and all that. It's pretty nice. I have decided to put the fire one on top and then I'm gonna put the color one on the bottom. There's that side, now for the bottom. All right, so there's the bottom. And then I have this extra one which is camo but I didn't use it because Eh. Now I'm gonna decorate the hovercraft. This is as far as I'm gonna go with decoration. There are a bunch of numbers, but I only used one and five, so I can make 15. So Airblock doesn't have a remote. You download an app called MakeBlock. Just click on that, it's got a little robot icon. All right, and then you gotta connect it with Bluetooth, so I'm just gonna put it by here. Okay, it's in air mode. All right, and then you hit power on, and then it goes like that. If it's right, it should be red on top and then green going up the sides. This is the power button. You just hit that and then a bunch of options come up. These are the directionals. You can go forward, backwards, left and right. This is how you can make it go up in the air, down, left, or turn left, and then turn right. This is to land. This one is to do a barrel roll. This one is to shake. And then this one is just to do another type of roll. This is a little hard to control at first and oh my God. Oh. All right, it, it didn't cut my toe or anything, so that's good. That's why I'm going outside, so I can better increase the chances of me keeping all my toes.
luckily I have all state forgiveness, so this incredibly minor thing that happened right here uh, is not a big deal. I left the drone on and then the rotor just flew up in my face. I'm a lubba wubba dum dum. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> That was not on purpose, but the battery's running out, so I don't know. <laughs> or maybe I was just out of range, I don't know, something. But that was not on purpose. So now I'm just gonna convert it from drone to hovercraft. Land mode. Okay, I got it. Let's go. Alright guys, I brought this inside because the elements are messing with me. So I'm gonna try it inside, see if that helps. give you the verdict. This is pretty awesome. Um, 8 out of 10, worth play again. A few of the issues are that the stickers keep flying off. They don't adhere too well. It needs or like adhesive spray glue or something. I do really like this though. It's a nice drone and it's a nice hovercraft. And remember, if it falls apart like, oh no, that fell off. Make sure to turn it off. Otherwise you're gonna get the things I do for my art, am I right? I also lost a couple of propellers. It comes with quite a few of them. I guess they expect this to happen. It's pretty sturdy. As you can see, I was ramming into a bunch of stuff. It doesn't have a scratch. Batteries last pretty long. I tested this before I did the video and they didn't last that long. They did last this time around though. Batteries, you got some splaining to do. Overall, this is pretty awesome. If you are a kid and you like flying and driving stuff, then this is a toy for you and you can create your own thing. Remember that. I haven't messed around with that yet. All right guys, that's all I have for you today. Tell me what you think of this. What drones have you messed around with and possibly destroyed? Like the video, comment, and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys next time, bye.